everyone how are you all my dear students i hope you all are fine and enjoying your studies and doing your revision well so my dear students as you all know we are doing essay 1 revision of english according to paper style wise right so my dear students in previous lecture we have completed two questions according to paper style wise so first today we will revise that two questions so the students who missed previous video they can connect with today's video and press and revision can connect you with today's topic okay so let's begin our today's session with a quote that is the way i see it if you want the rainbow you got to put up with the rain means if you want success in the life you have to face problems you have to do struggle okay let's see paper style of essay 1 exam so first we will see paper style of essay 1 exam and then after we will revise two question which already i explained you yesterday and then we will move to the next question okay so let's begin question 1 means five marks question 1 means five marks then question 2 fill in the blanks five marks question 2 fill in the blanks five marks then question 3 tick the correct answer five marks question 3 tick the correct answer five marks then question 4 opposites five marks question 4 opposites five marks question 5 <coughs> rhyming words five marks question 5 rhyming words five marks question 6 true or false five marks question 6 true or false five marks question 7 complete the following four marks Question seven. Complete the following four marks. And question eight. Answer in one word six marks. Answer in one word six marks. So total forty marks. Total forty marks. I am repeating this paper style. Question one. Meanings five marks. Question two. Fill in the blanks five marks. Question three. Tick the correct answer. Five marks. Question four. Opposites. Five marks. Question five. Rhyming words. Five marks. Question six. True or false. Five marks. Question seven. Complete the following. Four marks. Question eight. Answer in one word. Six marks. Total forty marks. Okay. So let's see the next. That is. Question one, meanings of lesson one to six. Meanings of lesson one to six. So let's see. Lesson one, flying sap. Lesson one, flying sap. Separated. Be apart. Separated. Be apart. Reunite. Together. Reunite. together then injured hurt injured hurt goose a bird goose a bird then ensure make sure ensure make sure after that meanings of poem 2 the bird on the shore meanings of poem 2 the bird on the shore let's see affected hostile affected hostile rescued to save or help rescued to save or help wrapped cover wrapped cover the next is meanings of lesson 3 a day in the jungle meanings of lesson 3 a day in the jungle so let's see peered looked carefully peered looked carefully 
bristled stood upright bristled stood upright much mixed much mixed kill an animal killed kill an animal killed dagger a small sword dagger a small sword alarm an awareness of danger alarm an awareness of danger track down follow track down follow pug marks footprints of the tiger pug marks footprints of the tiger frolicked means played about happily frolicked means played about happily now let's see the next that is meanings of lesson number 4 the dolphin and the shark meanings of lesson number 4 the dolphin and the shark let's see murky dark and dirty murky dark and dirty swam soft and wet land swam soft and wet land grumpy unhappy grumpy unhappy duck billed platypus means a sea creature duck billed platypus means a sea creature shuffling walking slowly and noisily shuffling walking slowly and noisily the next is raggedy raggedy means looking old and dirty raggedy looking old and dirty fiddle violin fiddle violin flabbergasted means surprised and shocked flabbergasted surprised and shocked trotted walked quickly trotted walked quickly then next is meanings of poem 5 the land of counterpane meanings of poem 5 the land of counterpane so let's see leaden made of lead leaden made of lead drills military exercises drills military exercises bed clothes sheets and covers bed clothes sheets and covers pleasant happy pleasant happy counterpane bed spread counterpane bed spread sick ill sick ill then next is meanings of lesson number 6 the dragon drop meanings of lesson number 6 the dragon drop so let's see clamber climb with difficulty clamber climb with difficulty sprawling sitting sprawling sitting mount a small hill mount a small hill twitched made a sudden short movement twitched made a sudden short movement then number 5 intentionally with great attention intentionally with great attention number 6 swiped turned around a point swiped turned around a point scampered ran away quickly scampered ran away quickly then next is tabby tabby means a gray or brownish cat tabby a gray or brownish cat the next is huddle 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 means a close group 
हडल मीन्स अ क्लोज ग्रुप नाउ लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू पेपर स्टाइल वाइज दैट इज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ऑफ लेसन वन थ्री फोर एंड सिक्स दर इज नो फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इन पोएम्स टू एंड फाइव ओके सो लेट सी फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ऑफ लेसन नंबर वन फ्लाइंग साउथ Two children spot and dash goose. Answer is injured. Answer is injured. Two children spot an injured goose. Then next is the children and their mother help the goose to dash with his friends. The children and their mother. Help the goose to reunite with his friends. Answer is reunite. Answer is reunite. Then number three, Jim saw something dash on the ice. Answer is white. Jim saw something white on the ice. Number four. Jim and Molly wrote a dash. Answer is letter. Jim and Molly wrote a letter. Then number five, the other geese in the dash will take him in. Answer is flock. The other geese in the flock will take him in. Then next is lesson three, a day in the jungle. a day in the jungle so let's see fb of lesson 3 the children and their parents went on a jungle safari in a dash answer is wildlife sanctuary the children and their parents went on a jungle safari in a wildlife sanctuary then number 2 They saw a dash bristling its quills. Answer is porcupine. They saw a porcupine bristling its quills. Then number three, the guide was looking through his dash when he spotted a leopard. Answer is binocular. The guide was looking through his binocular when he spotted a leopard. Then number four, unlike leopards, dash and dash find it difficult to climb trees because of their weight and large size. Answer is tigers, lions. Unlike leopards, tigers and lions find it difficult to climb trees because of their weight and large size. Number five. The guide was trying to dash a tiger by listening to the animal's calls. Answer is track down. Answer is track down. The guide was trying to track down a tiger by listening to the animal's calls. Next is filling the blanks of lesson number 4 the dolphin and the shark. The dolphin and the shark. So let's see. Number one, they were very dash in the cool blue water. Answer is happy. Answer is happy. They were very happy in the cool blue water. Then number two, Simon's favorite dash was to attack Judley and his sister. Answer is hobby. Answer is hobby. Simon's favorite hobby was to attack Judley and his sister. Number 3, frog was playing a dash. Answer is banjo. Answer is banjo. Frog was playing a banjo. Then number 4, raccoon was playing a dash. Raccoon was playing a dash. Answer is fiddle answer is fiddle raccoon was playing a fiddle number 5 the frog went back to the dash the frog went back to the dash answer is swam 
Answer is swam. The frog went back to the swam. Then lesson six. The dragon rock. The dragon rock. So let's see. The grown-ups would sit with mugs of steaming dash. The grown-ups would sit with mugs of steaming dash. Answer is cocoa. Answer is cocoa. The grown-ups would sit with mugs of steaming cocoa. Then number two, the boys and girls placed bunches of dash around the dragon. Answer is flowers. Answer is flowers. The boys and girls placed bunches of flowers around the dragon. Then number three, the severe heat made them dash. Answer is dizzy. Answer is dizzy. The severe heat made them dizzy. Then next is number four. The air was thick with dash and perfume. The air was thick with dash and perfume. Answer is pollen. Answer is pollen. The air was thick with pollen and perfume. Number five. The dash knocked over a farmer's haystack. The dash knocked over a farmer's haystack. Answer is torrent. Answer is torrent. The torrent knocked over a farmer's haystack. Now let's see the next question. That is question number three. Tick the correct answer. Textual exercises of poem two and lesson four. Question 3. Tick the correct answer. Textual exercise of poem 2 and lesson 4. So let's see. Poem 2. The bird on the shore. Poem 2. The bird on the shore. So let's see. Tick the correct answer. This is the image of your textbook. This is the image of your textbook. So let's see. A sticky skin of oil was floating on the sea. A sticky skin of oil was floating on the sea. The speaker and his father found the girl among the sands. The speaker and his father Found the girl among the sands. I am repeating these two questions. Question 1. A sticky skin of oil was floating on the sea. A sticky skin of oil was floating on the sea. The speaker and his father found the girl among the sands. The speaker and his father found the girl among the sands. The next is question 3. They wrapped the bird in a towel. They wrapped the bird in a Towel. The experts showed them several other birds black with oil. The experts showed them several other birds black with oil. Now I am repeating question 3 and 4. They wrapped the bird in a towel. They wrapped the bird in in a towel. The experts showed them several other birds black with oil. The experts showed them several other birds black with oil. Now I am repeating one to four questions of poem number two. Then we will move to next question. Question one. A sticky skin of oil was floating on the sea. 
a sticky skin of oil was floating on the sea the speaker and his father found the girl among the sands the speaker and his father found the girl among the sands then number 3 they wrapped the bird in a towel they wrapped the bird in a towel then number 4 the experts showed them several other birds black with oil the experts showed them several other birds black with oil now lesson 4 the dolphin and the shark lesson 4 the dolphin and the shark this is the image of your textbook number 1 Simon and Dudley lived in the ocean. Simon and Dudley lived in the ocean. Simon was grumpy because he had no brothers or sisters to play with. Simon was grumpy because he had no brothers or sisters to play with then question 3 simon and dudley so simon and dudley so an alligator a frog and a raccoon an alligator a frog and a raccoon then question 4 the frog was playing a banjo the frog was playing a banjo then next is question 5 the raccoon was playing a fiddle the raccoon was playing a fiddle and question 6 simon applauded with his fins simon applauded with his fins now i am repeating these questions 1 to 6 so let's see question 1 simon and dudley lived in the ocean simon and dudley lived in the ocean question 2 simon was grumpy because he simon was grumpy because he had no brothers or sisters to play with simon was grumpy because he had no brothers or sisters to play with then next is number 3 simon and judly so Simon and Dudley saw an alligator, a frog, and a raccoon. An alligator, a frog, and a raccoon. Then, now, question four: The frog was playing a banjo. The frog was playing a banjo. Then next is question 5 the raccoon was playing a fiddle the raccoon was playing a fiddle then number 6 simon applauded with his fins simon applauded with his fins then next is Question number 4 opposites of poem 2 and 5 from textbook and fair book Question 4 opposites of poem 2 and 5 from textbook and fair book So let's see poem 2 the bird on the shore the bird on the shore So this is the image of your textbook these opposites are given in your textbook okay Float 
sink. What is the opposite of float? Sink. Found. Lost. Found. Lost. Dead. Alive. Dead. Alive. Wrap. Unwrap. Wrap. Unwrap. Better. Worst. Better. Worst. Now I am repeating all the opposites. I am repeating all the opposites. Okay. So let's see. Float. Sink. Float. Sink. Found. Lost. Found. Lost. Dead. Alive. Dead. Alive. Wrap. Unwrap. Wrap. Unwrap. Better. Worst. Better. Worst. Now, let's see the next opposite. That is, opposites of poem 5, the land of counterpen. Opposites of poem 5, the land of counterpen. So, let's see. Happy, unhappy. Happy, unhappy. Pleasant, unpleasant. Pleasant, unpleasant. Day, night. Day, night. Before, after. Before, after. So, my dear students, today we will do till here only. So, now let me show you that how many questions we have completed today. Okay. So, my dear students, today's session we have started with question 1 meanings of lesson 1 to 6. Okay. So, first we have seen meanings of lesson number 1. So, here are the meanings of lesson number 1. After that we have seen meanings of poem number 2. Poem number 2. So, here are meanings of poem 2. Then after that we have completed meanings of lesson 3. A day in the jungle. Then after that we have completed meanings of lesson 4. The dolphin and the shark. So, here are the meanings of lesson 4. The dolphin and the shark. After that we have completed meanings of poem 5. The land of counterpan. So, here it is meanings of poem 5. Then, lesson 6, the dragon drop, meanings of lesson 6. So, how many are there total? Total meanings are 9. After that, we have completed question number 2, fill in the blanks of lessons 1, 3, 4 and 6 because there is no FB in poems 2 and 5. So, FB, fill in the blanks of lesson number 1, then fill in the blanks of lesson number 3, then after that fill in the blanks of lesson number 4. After completing lesson number 4 fill in the blanks of lesson number 6. Then we came to the our today's session that is question number 3. Tick the correct answer. Textual exercises of poem 2 and lesson 4. So here is the poem 2 the bird on the shore textual exercise. And after completing that. Lesson 4, the dolphin and the shark, textual exercise. There is tick the correct answer in the textual exercise. After completing that, question number 4, opposites of poem 2 and 5 from textbook and fair book. So, poem number 2, the bird on the shore, opposites are from textbook. This is the image of your textbook. And poem number 5, the land of counterpan, these opposites you have already written in your fair book. So my dear students, today we will do till here only. Regarding these 4 questions, if you are having any doubts, feel free to message me on my WhatsApp number. We will meet in our next session with the next question. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.